Okay. You guys, are you guys um, ready to record? I'll, I'll count down. Oh, you're recording. Uh, Five, uh, four, three, two, one. You're fibbing again. Good Sunday, everybody. Hope everybody had a good 4th of July. Did you all have a good 4th of July? Yes, we, we did. did. It was wonderful. What? I really remember it. Yeah, what was your favorite Except part? Except for that horrible August? thunderstorm. Yeah, it was, uh, it was horrible. It was awesome. Well, welcome to another Sunday of craziness. Let me, uh, why did that happen? Let me get up our upcoming stuff, stuff, stuff. Um, Tuesday is Bible study. It's a busy week. It's a busy week coming off of yesterday's fireworks. Um, we have Bible study at 6.30. It's Matthew 11 this week, and it's red, white, and blue day. So wear or bring something red, white, and blue or blue for an honor of uh, this great country. Friday, Friday, we're having um, an activity. It is a talk by Ron Sanderson. We've had Ron at the church before. Uh, the, uh, it, it's his story. Ron is a Christian fella. He's got autism, but he's written three books. He's a speaker. He's a dad. He's got a, he's, uh, uh, got a wife. So it's a real cool story. Um, it's 6.30 on Zoom, and it's free of charge. So that is Friday at 6.30. And then Sunday is, next Sunday, is a, again our Sunday school lesson at 1 o'clock. And 2-4 hangout at 4.30. We're going through different psalms every time we meet. So um, keep in mind after that, at July 24th is a Friday for prayer, praise, and pizza night. So that's going to be worshiping. That's going to be having fellowship meal and prayer time. So that's what we have coming up. It's going to be a busy week. And I don't know about you, Carrie, but those fireworks kind of wore me out last night, right? Did they wear you out? Yes, sir. Sir. I had a girl. Good. Well, one question. Yes. Um, the Zoom with Ron Sanderson. About how long does that last? Probably, uh, probably forty-five minutes. No okay. more than an hour. Okay. What we'll do, just and, and everybody. So when we did our breakfast, it was about forty-five minutes. We'll have PowerPoint slide, um, and then we'll open it up for any questions at the end. I think when he spoke last time. Uh, there were like three or four questions. So it's for anybody. We're saying it's for parents, caregivers, friends, neighbors, enemies, anybody that wants to come. It's a great story. Um, yeah. And uh, it's real inspiring. And we had some of our guys with autism really love that story. They could relate to Ron. He's memorized 10,000 Bible verses. Wow. Um, he used to work with Jack Van Impey. And it was Jack Van Impey that helped uh, encourage him to memorize scripture. So um, do you know, Ron, have you met him, Kat? I haven't, but my son actually knew who he was because I told him about what we were going to do. And my son works for Centria, which is a behavioral analysis, analysis, whatever. Anyway, behavioral programs for people with autism. Yeah. So he was aware of who he was, and I was going to send the link to my cousin Lisa, who lives in Utah, who has a very severely um, autistic son. He's yeah. an adult. He's probably about 26 now, but I thought she might enjoy listening to him as well. So I was just wondering. Yeah, I've, al <laughs> I've already had a couple of agencies contact me to get the link so they can send it out to their people. So. Cool. It's a fun, inspiring story, and it's not boring. He tells it in a good way, and he kind of uh, shares how his mom was an advocate, uh, you know, back in the, I think, the late 80s or 90s um, okay. for him. So he's about 40, like right now, a little bit, maybe 41 or 42. So also, he, cool also he's written a couple books, too. Yeah, yeah. He's actually just written a third one that's not going to be released for like six or eight months or something. So... Um, yeah, real interesting guy, local guy, and um, 
we just thought this would be a real encouraging thing for people and uh, just something else to do. So that's what we got coming up. Hearing him. I think that'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. So um, um, who's going to pray us, pray us in? I will. All right, John. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you for this day. Thank you for just a day to worship you and to praise you and to draw near to you. And uh, we just ask that you watch over this Bible study, watch over our class, each and every one of us, and uh, draw us close to you as well. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Before we get to the worship, um, we are doing live. If you're watching this at 1 o'clock on Sunday, and why wouldn't you be? We are doing... Um, where we are doing yes we are doing live prayer requests john and linda and god bless them for doing this yeah. um live prayer requests so put your prayer request in the comments um and even if you're watching this afterward put put them in your comments so we can um, um so we can uh pray for you during the week so we got a surprise with worship so um i'm hoping you can see that hey yeah yeah. This will be this will be um, October 29th, 2017 at the 8:30 service. So uh, this is our awesome um, God Special Voices Choir. You'll see them in the blue shirts. They were singing along with some of our choir and folk oh, yeah. or That's our orchestra. And the orchestra. I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, there was awesome. no, no social distancing back then, you'll notice. No, so, no, we didn't know what that meant. Right, right. So here we go. I hope you can hear it. I mean, I taped it, I think, off my phone, so it's not going to be excellent uh, audio, but it, it, it won't be bad, I'm hoping. Loud enough? A little louder. 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 Yeah. Should he mute, mute us? Mute us, Greg. I don't think it's going to matter.
Wasn't that awesome? So it, it stuck a little bit, but I mean, you, you could see Caitlin and Laura and yeah. Deb and, and, and Carrie and uh, Sue Powell. And you could hear, G, you could hear um, Angela. You could certainly hear Angela. Um, it was great. You guys want to hear a quick story about that? We do. Sorry. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. So it was um, <laughs> right after that. <laughs> Right after that, they, the choir came out into the lobby, and I was so pumped up. I came and saw them, and I told them how great they did. I said, you guys have to know you have value and that you are just as important as anybody in this church. Don't you ever forget that. Mm -hmm. And then I heard later that Pastor Doug came by, and he said to the choir, you guys were great. And Angela said, yeah, Greg said we're better than anybody else in this church. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, close enough. So, so Same idea. Yeah. So, it was great. But I, I'm sorry it stuck a little bit. Um, we've got more video. We'll do this again. Uh, it's just the cat is starting to demand too much money for us. And, uh, and oh. we needed a break. Yeah. So. Yeah, those royalties. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> so, um, I can, should I get to the Bible verse of yeah. this week? Yeah, that sounds great. All right. It's a good story this week. I think. Oh, yeah. Thank it's you. One of the better ones. You know, not, yeah. So, um, here it is. All right. Bible verse. Love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 10, 27. Awesome. Repeat after me. Bible verse. Bible, Bible verse. verse. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. As yourself. As yourself. Luke 10, 27. Luke 10, 27. Fantastic. Wow. Very good, Terry. No rehearsal. She just went. Yeah. Yeah. Did that straight away. That's awesome. All right. So we're ready for the skit? Absolutely. Yes. All right. The parable of the Good Samaritan. Wait, oh, yeah. Wait, John. Oh, no, gonna... we, got, we, got, we do casting. Oh, right. I always forget the casting. Oh, Go yeah. Ahead. That's right. All right. All right. That's because we know. Okay, that. we're uh, well. We've got the parable of the Good Samaritan, so we're going to need uh, the Good Samaritan. Oh, that's me. Right. And we're gonna, obviously we're going to need uh, we're going to need a uh, somebody who is hurt, a man who's hurt. Kevin. Uh, uh, Kevin. Our poor guy. He'll help. Yeah, awesome. I think that's great. Kevin's well, we'll we'll need Jesus this time too. So, Greg. Greg, I'll try. Back by popular demand. Absolutely. And then we need a, uh, a priest. Played by Linda. Oh right, I'm the priest. <laughs> I'll be the priest. I'll be the priest. And uh, we need a Jewish leader. That's and me. I cannot think of a better person <laughs> to represent our Jewish leader friends than uh, Carrie. <laughs> So okay. Awesome. All right. Robbers. So like everybody has to be robbers too. Okay. Oh yeah, we need some rob. Maybe I'll do some robbing too because I'm just narrating. I'm just narrating. So you have to hurt the poor guy. So when I put him here, where is he on your screens? He's. Is he right here in the middle? Yeah, not even in the middle, and Linda. Okay. Well, you guys are just gonna have to attack him from however, whatever angle you oh. have to attack him from. But not me, I'm Jesus. I'm not judgmental at all. No being a robber for you. All right. All right. All right, now we're ready for action. Oh. Oh, right, action. Action. Okay, ready? Ready. Action! Whoa, that was a good smack. Very good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, I improved. Nice tone quality. Yeah, that was excellent. I think we're getting pretty good. We are. Okay, uh, the parable of Good Samaritan. Jesus showed God's love to people. Oh, look at that! So kind. He taught people oh, yeah. about God. 
Oh, look at that little heart. Is it? Oh. I'm not good at that. I think he's improving on the acting over there. He is. Oh, into it. Sometimes Jesus taught by telling stories. The stories were called parables. Ah. Parables help people understand God's truths. One day, a man asked God, asked how God wanted him to live. Jesus answered, Love God, love your neighbors. Who is my neighbor? Asked the man. And then Jesus told this parable to help the man understand. And here is Jesus' story. Oh, am I telling it? Sure. All right. So a man was walking down the road. Okay. Played by Kevin. There he is. Waddling down the road. <laughs> he has legs. We've seen him. Robbers attacked him. <laughs> ah! They beat him up. Oh, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh. They robbed him of his goggles. No, don't take the money. His goggles. Oh, no, not my goggles. Anything. He needs those. Those are his eyes. They oh. took off all his clothes. Oh, oh no. Well, let's leave cool. it like that. He doesn't wear a lot of clothes anyway. We're, we do not want to see Kevin naked. We're oh. a PG Bible study. I would go with G, Greg. G. G. Yeah, we ought to be a G. They okay. left him on the side of the road to die. Oh. Oh. Okay. oh. A priest came along. Well, help me. Okay, you saw the man. She saw the hurt man. Okay. He, he oh, went he's all the... bloody and unclean. Oh, oh, I think I won't stop. Oh, please stop. He went to the other side of the road and kept on the walking. Side of the road. Oh, oh. Another Jewish leader came by. Oh, here's someone else. He, I'm not uh, going to help you. What? What? He didn't help either. Oh. He kept walking by. Oh, won't anyone help me? Finally, a Samaritan man came along. Oh, no! There's a hurt man by the side of the road. I better rush over to see if I can help him. He rushed over to the man. Oh. He, he bandaged the man's injuries. Oh, let me make sure you're okay, mister. Let's bandage you all up. Here you go. How many of us think that throughout the day, Kat has ongoing conversations with Kevin? <laughs> he, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure. He, sure. he put the man on a donkey and oh, took him nice. to an inn. He, here we go. <laughs> He took care of the man. Oh, I'll take care of you. Get you here's some matzo ball soup for you. Uh -huh. Better. <laughs> Even though he had to leave, he paid the innkeeper to keep on taking care of the man. Here, I got lots of shekels. Oh, good. You take care of him for me. I'll All be right. Okay, now back to you. All right, boy, that was a pretty good parable. Then Jesus asked that man which, this question. Which of the three men was a neighbor to the hurt man? The one who showed kindness and mercy. That is correct. Oh, good job. Wow. That is what you need to do for everyone you meet. Yay. Oh. And such an awesome story. I just that's wonder, awesome. I just wonder though, what do you think? What does it mean? Mm. What does it mean? What does it mean? I don't know. Let's ask Kevin. Kevin, my oh, okay. friend. What does it mean? Well, let's see here. Our Bible verse was, love your neighbor as yourself. As you saw in the story, People were not very nice to me. They didn't help me. They didn't look after me. But I'm thinking if they were laying on the side of the road and they were all bloody and hurt, 
that they would want someone to stop and take care of them. Don't you think so? I think, I so. think so. So when you look at our Bible verse, love your neighbor as yourself, you want to treat other people exactly how you would want to be treated. You want people to be kind to you, and you want people to be loving towards you. So you be kind and loving and all those other things to everyone else. That is what it means. Awesome. Awesome. Good Very job. Very good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's excellent. I like it because you can, it's easy to be loving your friends. But right. This was loving your enemies. That's a hard one. It is. It's loving everyone you meet. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. I know. Well, any closing? Don't forget to put your prayer request here. That was one of our best stories. Oh, I yeah. liked that one. I liked that one. I thought the acting was superb on that one. I did too. Everyone. Yeah. Kat, you were amazing. Yeah. Cast of characters, I think, was superb. Yeah. Superb. Awesome. Can I just say one thing? Yes. I would like to give Deb a shout out because she made me this beautiful bookmark. and Oh, sent wow. She sent me a note and some other crosses. So wow. Abby, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. It's so beautiful. Yeah, she's awesome. She's she awesome. That's great. Good. That's really cool. Deb's very creative like that is very creative yeah well good you guys i think that's the end of the lesson right any final words don't forget to switch over to facebook live with your prayer requests and put yep. them in here now and then switch over and uh pick up and we'll be praying with you yep yep and then tuesday night bible study friday night ron sanderson sunday hangout all right, all right. peace out everybody have yep. a good week i uh, love Bye -bye. you guys